Hi, I'm Jeff Bolbrook from Blash Precision Ceramics Hydrocarbon Processing Division. We created this short video to illustrate the installation techniques of our hex wall checker wall block and to demonstrate how quick and easily it may be accomplished. What I have here is a, a start of a simulated wall so I can show you how these blocks stack up and a couple of things about the features that, that make uh, this wall work the way it does. So again, let's assume that we've begun construction of the wall in the furnace, that these are mortared into place, that they're leveled or plumb, and what we're going to do now is start on the second row of blocks. We'll show you how they interlock. So the first thing you notice on these blocks is that they have a series of tabs and slots all around the six sides. And the purpose for them is to interlock uh, with each other. So when you pick up a block and put it into place, you want to go male, female, male, female, and they will seat properly as a result of um, those tabs and slots. You do want to make sure that the corners meet and the gaps are consistent all the way around. That way you know that you're going up and, and the thing is going to be straight. So first block is in place. Grab the next one. Make sure you have it aligned the way you want it aligned and then just set it into place on the row below. Again, check the corners, make sure that the alignment is good. It's very difficult to get it out of alignment the way the, the, the features lock together, but again, just make sure that it's close. So this has been a demonstration of how these blocks fit together and how to build a wall. What it doesn't show you is how it fits inside an actual furnace. In the real world, a reaction furnace is a round vessel and these blocks will fill most of the area. However, along the steel shell here, as, as you build up the wall, you need to pack castable refractory or concrete, essentially, in there between the block and the wall. And then as the wall goes up, you need to begin to allow some room for expansion. So you put a certain amount of fiber in there and then pack the refractory in there. Uh, but you, you close it all the way up to the top the same way. Several inches at the top for expansion, a little bit less on the sides, and you're done. As you can see, installing our patented interlocking hex wall block in your reaction furnace is fast and easy and can potentially save you days on turnaround. To discuss our hex wall system in more detail, or if you're planning a turnaround or new construction project, give us a call. Let's get started.